this video, we're showing the use of Pope Scientific's Benchtop Nooch Filter Dryer. This can be used for multiple unit operations, including washing, filtering, drying, and re-slurring of products. Start by transferring a slurry into the nooch. In this video, we are actually going to just do a manual transfer with a funnel. This can also be done uh, with sanitary clamps and hoses by pressurizing or pulling vacuum on the unit from the container of your choice. When filling the vessel, it's recommended that the vent valve is open to allow the material to more easily go into the nooch. Once the slurry has been transferred into the nooch filter dryer, you'll isolate the valves, allowing yourself to pressurize the nooch and push the liquid out. Hooking up an airline, the nooch is pressurized to around 10 PSI for the citric acid filtration we're doing. Because it is a relatively easy product to filter, we only need around 10 pounds of pressure. The unit is rated for up to 100 PSI for more difficult filtrations. Once the unit is pressurized, you'll open the bottom valve, allowing the liquid to go through the filter and maintaining the solids within the vessel. As the air, all the liquid is driven out, you'll actually see that water uh, stop and air come through. You can also flush air through the system to help with the drying process if desired. With the wet cake in the nooch, you can then use a spray nozzle to wash the cake, which Pope provides. Once the cake has been washed if desired, you can use the agitator. The agitator is designed for two direction uh, spinning. The first direction that it spins in will actually be used to smooth the cake out. And in a reverse direction, it digs into the cake. The reason for this is that you will want to dig into the cake to remove any cracks and then smooth the cake for even drying to not allow residual solvents to stay throughout the product, but instead get an even drying throughout. The agitator is fit with a manual raise and lower lever that allows the cake agitator to be dug into the cake and then again be removed from it. Once your wet cake is ready for drying, you'll use the nozzles on the vessel to heat the jacket. You can also attach a vacuum to expedite the drying process or attach a gas source to allow for gas flow through the unit as well. Once your cake has been dried, the nooch can be easily disassembled using an Allen wrench. Removing three bolts, the high pressure sanitary clamp can be removed from the bottom of the nooch. The top of the nooch can be raised, lift off, giving you access to your powder for further processing as needed. If you have any further questions, on Pope Scientific's nooch filter dryers, 
please contact us and one of our sales engineers will be happy to help you get them answered.